Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss a very important question that is earthing is still necessary as we have RCCB in the circuit. As in my previous discussion of difference between ELCB and RCCB, I have come to the conclusion that in case of ELCB, the earth conductor has a vital role as the leakage current is passing through the earth conductor and which energize the tripping coil of the ELCB in order to trip the ELCB. But in case of RCCB, the RCCB not taking any feedback from the earth conductor current. It just sends the difference between the phase conductor and neutral conductor and if the RCCB find the difference between earth and neutral conductor current, it will trip. So even if there is no earthing, the RCCB will function. So the question is, is earthing still necessary as we have the RCCB in the circuit? Hope you understood the question. As of now, we have the conclusion that the earthing wire is not necessary if there is a RCCB in the circuit as the RCCB not taking any feedback from the earthing conductor. Let us try to understand that still the earthing is required or not if there is a RCCB in the circuit. Let us take the first case that the load has no earth leakage fault and there is a RCCB in the circuit and the load is connected with the earthing. In this case, the current which will flow through the phase wire, the same current will return back from the neutral. So there will be no tripping of the EL, uh, RCCB as there is no leakage fault in the load side. Now let us take an another case. In this case, the load is on and there is a earth leakage fault in the load side. In that case, the same amount of current will not flow through the phase and neutral wire and this CBCT will detect this one and it will trip the circuit. Of course, this leakage current will flow through the earth wire but as the RCCB is not taking any feedback from the earth wire, from the earthing wire, even if there is no earthing, the RCCB will trip. Now let us take an another case. Earthing is not provided to the load. Now the load is on and there is a earth leakage fault in the load. When the current will flow through the RCCB and then through the load, then there will be leakage current in the body but as there is a difference between the phase current and neutral current the RCCB will trip which already I have discussed. So even there is no earthing the RCCB is doing its function. So far it seems that when there is a RCCB the earthing is not required but let us analyze this circuit more and more in the different cases. Now let us take an another case. In this case the load is off. In all the previous case the load was on. Now the next case is the load is off. Meaning the load not drawing any current from the source. And but there is the earth leakage fault means the phase conductor is touching the body of the load. As the load is off the load will not draw any current but when we will check the potential of the body of the load we will find the high voltage that will be for single phase it will be 230 to 240 volt. Some of you may be have one question that if the load is off how there will be the potential a high potential at the body of the load because the RCCB is on here. As the RCCB is on and load is off, there will be no current, but there will be the potential at the phases. And as the phases 
a phase is touching to the body of the load so there will be potential high potential at the body of the load also hope you clear now the rccb will not trip in this case why even there is a earth fault with the load side the rccb will not trip because there is no current flowing through the rccb so there is no case of the difference in the current in phase and the neutral conductor so the cbct will not sense any difference the current in the phase is zero and the current in the neutral is zero so there is no difference in the phase and neutral current so the rccb will not trip even there is a earth leakage fault at the load side hope i am clear till here as there is a high potential at the body of the load if someone will come and touch the body of the load then the current will start flowing but of course the current will not flow through the load but only through the body of the load and this time the current will flow through the body of the human and it will discharge to ground but in the same time the RCCB will detect the difference between the phase and neutral current and it will trip. Why the RCCB will uh, detect the difference between the phase current and neutral current? Because suppose 10 ampere of current is flowing through the phase, okay. In the leakage time it will be very small current. So let us take a practical situation, maybe 2 ampere current is flowing through the phase, then some amount of current will flow through the body of the load okay there will be no current rewind, uh, return back to the neutral so this 2 ampere of current has the difference between the phase conductor and neutral conductor as the neutral has zero current and the phase has 2 ampere of current so there is a difference in phase current and neutral current and the rccb will trip but RCCB will trip when already a man get electrocuted for a very short duration. Of course, the human will be perfectly okay because that duration of current is very small time. But even the electrocution will happen and then only there will be the tripping of RCCB. So from this case, we can conclude that when the RCCB is on and the load is off, and there is a earth leakage fault at the load then when a person will touch the body of the load then the current will not flow through the load but of course the current will flow through the body of the load and this current will discharge from the human body to the ground and at the same time the rccb will find the difference between the phase and neutral conductor current and it will trip but the tripping will be after the electrocution of a human. Now let us check what advantage we will get when we will earth the body of the load permanently. Here you can see that we permanently earthed the body of the load. Now suppose there is a earth for earth leakage fault happen at the load and the load is off, RCCB is on, then the body of the load will attain potential, high potential. As the body is connected with the earth, then this will make the body of the earth at zero potential. So the current will flow, current will start flowing. Let's say there is a 2 ampere of current is flowing. Of course, this current, 2 ampere of current will flow through the body of the load, not through the neutral because load is off. So there will be 0 ampere of current. So again, for the RCCB, there is a difference in the phase current and neutral current and RCCB will trip. If any guy will come and touch the load of the, uh, sorry, the body of the load, it, he will not get electrocuted even for a shorter duration. So what is the advantage of the earthing with the load uh, body of the load? As the earth leakage fault happen, even the load is on and off, the, the RCCB will trip. 
but in case uh, we saw that when the load is off and there is a earth leakage fault the rccb will not trip until and unless someone will come to touch the body of the load but as we did the earthing for the body of the load even if some no one is coming to touch the body of the load the rccb will trip hope you understood that is earthing is still necessary if we have the rccb in the circuit yes earthing is still necessary even if we have rccb in the circuit now we underestimated the earthing as the earthing not only have a job to release or to discharge the earth leakage current suppose i have another case there is a load okay and it is protected with the rccb suppose an external wire from some other circuit which having a potential is touching to the body of the load then what will happen let us analyze this one as this circuit is different from the rccb circuit then there will the rccb will not find any difference in phase current and neutral current but the body of the load already have the high potential okay if there is no earth and if someone will touch he will get electrocuted right but in another case if we earthed the body of the earth and the other circuit touching the body of the load this current will flow through the earth and even if a person will touch this load he will not get electrocuted now let us take an another case there is one load and it is protected with the rccb okay suppose this load is outdoor load any pump or anything any lightning strike to this load if this load body is not connected with the earth it will catch fire because the high potential is attained at the striking of the lightning but when there is a earth connected with this load then the lightning whenever the lightning strike to the load then this high current will discharge through the earthing conductor to the ground i hope from this video you build the concept that earthing is always required even there is rccb or not of course only if we think about the function of rccb then we can say that for the function of rccb the earthing is not so important but earthing has not only a limited operation it has a very wide range of operation so earthing is always required even if there is rccb or not if you find this video informative then please do subscribe and like to my video and share with your friend we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much